Okay, so today we're going to show you how to remove the canopy acrylic from your ESB lay down tanning bed. And this method here is the one that they describe in the manual about uh, basically loosening the end caps and pulling the acrylic out of the front of the bed. So in order for us to do this, first we're going to start by loosening um, three screws on either side. And on the end cap, it's uh, the screws located on the very end here, these two that go into the side rail and then the top center, the screw that goes through the center support rail. So I'm going to start at the end of the bed with a cordless with a Phillips and just back these out a little bit. Not too far, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then in the center. And then let him do that on his side. black trim strip off on the end here. So I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and pry into the opening here and just pull it out of the channel. So that's that. Now I'm going to take the same flathead screwdriver and I'm going to stick it up into that channel and pry the plastic end cap away from the metal rail. I'll let him do the same. Okay, so good. Now to Pull the acrylic out, what we're going to need to do is grab the very corner here and just pull it down a little bit so you can go inch by inch here down the side and pull it out. So once we have it loose, then we can start to pull it up and out of the channel. There we go. So once, it's, once we get it loose, then we want to take the acrylic from the opposite edge and kind of support it so it doesn't roll the lamps out of place and also doesn't scratch it on the metal rail. So we'll keep pulling it out of the channel. There we go. And that's it. So right now you can get in there and clean your lamps, change your lamps, and then now we'll show you how to put the acrylic back in. In order to do so, of course, we first got to start by pulling the trim strip off the back. And then what we'll do is we'll take, we'll take and snug the hardware back up a little bit to make it easier for the acrylic to slide back in. So I recommend, thank you, I recommend about almost an eighth of an inch of gap here. So don't make it tight. <laughs> yourself a little room to work with, but not tight all the way. And sometimes it takes fine tuning that distance that you have here to make it right when you're putting the acrylic in. Okay. Okay, good. So then now what we gotta do is we gotta lift up the acrylic and get it back into this channel in, in the uh, side of the end cap here. So we'll start by supporting the acrylic on the outside while we just feed it into that channel. And then we're just slowly going to evenly go back at the same time, pushing and pulling it. Now when we get to the center support, we're going to lift it so it goes over the support rail while still keeping it even, pushing it. Oh, they came out a little bit, which is okay. If I go ahead a little bit, if I push it back a little bit and he comes my way, then we can keep coming down with it. And keep feeding it into the chin. Now, now it's pulled out a little there, so I'll come down a little bit more as we keep going to the end. And here, we'll have to pull it out from the middle just a little bit. And then, um, Looks like we got it. That's it. Now it'll click into place. And there. So that's it. So once we have it like that, 
we can take the acrylic trim strip and here I'll put this one on the bottom what I do is I take the long flat part and put it on top of the acrylic and push the, the smaller part into the channel and butt it up against the plastic end cap and then work it in short sections to go down the length of the bed. So I'll do this one by the same procedure. Take the long part on top of the acrylic and then butt it up. I haven't tightened the hardware here, but that's okay. We'll do that in the next step. So then we just secure it the rest of the way. Take your hardware and tighten it the rest of the way now. Now you got your acrylic back in the canopy.